The first Lexus LS made a huge splash when it debuted 28 years ago, taking on the Germans and really putting the fledgling luxury brand on the map. But the current LS is pretty long in the tooth, so that's why Lexus has this, the all-new LS500. It's designed to put the Lexus LS back at the top of the luxury sedan crowd. The design is kind of typical Lexus with that huge mesh spindle grille up front, really squinty headlights with checkmark like running lights. From the back we almost see a little bit of Porsche Panamera from the bulbous fenders and upswept belt line. It's a big long car so you get 19 or 20 inch wheels. It's actually quite a pretty looking car in person, there's a lot of very gentle curves and it's perhaps a little bolder than some of the past Lexus LS models we've seen. The inside is all about luxury too. Tons of back seat room, lots of lovely leather and wood trim, a big 12.3 inch infotainment system screen, a Mark Levinson sound system and active noise cancellation. This car rides on the new GA-L platform that's also used for the Lexus LC500 sports car. Now Lexus says that because of that this LC is lower and wider than before with a lower center of gravity which should improve performance. Up front under the hood is a 3.5 litre bi-turbocharged V6 with 415 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. That goes through a 10-speed automatic and Lexus says this car will get to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Now, we'll have to drive it back to back to see what it's like in the real world, but based on what we're seeing so far, the Lexus LS is taking a real big step forward. It might be just enough for it to once again pose a serious threat to the best Germans, the Audi A8, BMW 7 Series, and Mercedes-Benz S-Class. For more on this car and all the other cars debuting at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show, check us out at motor1.com.